Right then, Maguire on the free kicks. Van der Beek going through the middle, I'm guessing. He's got to go through the middle to Williams. Rashford, oh, there we go. No one defended him. What a goal. Ah, right, here we go. Who's got that? Martial, oh dear. Defend, defend, pass, defend. No, taking them on and he scores. Lovely. Another corner, another set piece, another example. There we go, Maguire. Good job. Good job, Slabhead. All right, Rashford, one of my favourite players, Rashford, on that left-hand side, swinging it in, going through the middle, Fred, over to Cavani, there we go. All right, Hummels, the centre-back, pushing forward, taking it to the right-hand side to Hazard, the brother of Eden Hazard, straight to Haaland, what a pass, what a run for Haaland as well. Nice goal. Hazlack, Brandt, Delaney, Brandt again, is he going to cut it through? Haaland, oh, he's going to take it on into Corsier's bottom right. No, left. Nice goal. Haaland again, the big man. Not a lot of people will beat him in the air. Brandt straight through the middle. He's not going to pass. He's going to take it all by himself, like Haaland should. It's, it's out and out striker, isn't he? Two minutes in, Florenzi straight to a Sarabia. Over the top to a Cardi. Nice, he's going to pass it. Got to pass it. Straight to Mbappe, bottom left-hand corner. All right. Their goalkeeper now straight to our defender. Sarabia again on that right-hand side. Over the top to Icardi. Is he going to pass it or is he going to score? Scored. Nice goal, Icardi. All right, Florenzi once again. A great player. Everything seems to go through Florenzi. And Neymar Jr. straight to Mbappe. Nice pass. Nice goal. Near post as well. Bad goalkeeping. All right, they're throwing. Straight to our player. Bad throwing. Benat. To Akadi, to Keen, the young lad on loan from Everton. Nice goal. What's up, everyone? Tucker Jobs, and hopefully you enjoyed those highlights. So this tactic was a comment on my uh, one of my videos saying, "Can you test my tactic?" It's on FM Base. It's called the Master Megadon. Now I went onto the FM base, I found the Master Megadon, and it looked like it's been updated. Obviously, they must have tweaked it, must have improved it. Now it's a newer version called the 424 Mayhem Maker. Nice name. Well, I'm hoping for a lot of mayhem, hoping for a lot of goals because it's a 424 shape. It's one of my personal favourite shapes, Football Manager 21. It allows for a lot of goals with a two-striker system. So uh, yeah, the teams involved in this test then: Manchester United and Fulham, PSG, RC Lens, Borussia Dortmund. Union Berlin, Swansea, Hull and Bradford City are the three lower league teams there. Um, for all of you that can't download the tactic, obviously the download link will be in the description. I will put the tactic in my Discord as well for everyone that follows my Discord. Um, but if you can't download, then just follow all the instructions I'm about to give you or manually and you should be able to replicate it pretty well. So uh, advance forward left, advance forward right, winger left and that's mark specific position. So your winger left is marking the defender right and your winger right is marking the defender left and then a deep line playmaker the mozilla inverted wing back left inverted wing back right ball playing defender left ball playing defender right and the sweep keeper set piece instructions corners uh, defending right and left and attacking left and right and as, as you can see it's the Beowulf 442 system so he's using the um, set piece instructions from Naps Beowulf 442 uh, it's very effective all right there's quite a lot of people that do it and uh, the corner takers aiming for the near post and then free kick instructions defending right and left and attacking left and right and that's all mixed taken there a uh, small chance of shot attacking right and left and that's also mixed uh, wide left and right and that's mixed as well and deep right and left and that's also mixed throwing instructions defending right and left and attacking left and right and as you can see yeah he's using the set piece instructions from the beer wall 442 uh, that's the long throw-ins there so just pause that section obviously copy everything over try and copy it bob on because it's pretty important obviously the set piece instructions you can, you can accumulate quite a lot of goals and sometimes it's match winning goals there um, so yeah, that's the uh, set pieces. Back to the tactic then. The mentality is attacking. In possession, you're looking at standard attacking width with passing space on the approach play. Underlap, left and right will play out defence. Slightly more direct passing dynamics with an extremely high tempo. Uh, low crosses in the final third, work ball into box. Play for set pieces. Nice, nice. Uh, and run at defence as well. In transition, 
uh, regroup and counter, which is always interesting to see. Um, the norm is pretty much counter press and counter, so it's nice to see regroup in there. If you're if you're struggling, what regroup is? Just hover over the tab. Regroup will ask your players to immediately get back into their defensive shape after losing possession, so you will not press them straight after. Um, it will avoid you being caught, obviously, out of position whilst they counter. Um, and then goalkeeper in possession, he will be distributing to the fullbacks with short kicks. Out of possession, using the offside trap, a much, line of high, much higher line of engagement with a standard defensive line, force opposition outside, so the old narrow system. Um, use title marking, extremely urgent pressing intensity with prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and the get stuck in instruction is on. So yeah, there's the tactic, there's the teams. If you're wondering what kind of players may fit into the team, um, all I do is go pick without restriction, best 11, and it will always give you a rough idea of the best players per position. And then just a little bit of um, personal preference then will take over. With the strikers, with your, with the midfielders, whatever you feel might be more effective in your own opinion. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with the tactic and I'll see you at the end of the season. So here we are then, end of the season, let's start off in the Premier Division with Manchester United and Fulham. You can see on the table there, Manchester United came second, unfortunately, five points behind Man City, who came first with 90 points. Uh, but we did smash everyone when it came to the goal difference. Obviously, you're on 72. The closest to you after that is Arsenal and Man City with a 53 goal difference, so massively different there. And Fulham qualifying for Europe, the underdogs come in sixth, nice one there. Top three player stats then goals, Greenwood. Greenwood, 23 goals, Martial, uh, 21, and then Mitrovic with 21 as well. The average rating, you've got Fernandez there coming second with 7.67. Assists, Fernandez and Rashford first and joint second. Uh, player of the matches, you've got Fernandez once again. He is a great player for Manchester United, so try and keep him as long as you can. Um, come in joint second as well with nine of them, and uh, that's it. So, yeah, let's get started with Manchester United then. Competitions, how did you do? European Champions Cup that went down the quarterfinals against Bayern. Uh, English FA Cup fifth round got knocked out by Blackburn. And then the runners will put up at the Carabao Cup. And unfortunately, they lost out to Wolves. Wolves won. Wolves won the Carabao Cup. Nice one. Lost out 3 2, though, unfortunately. So, technically, it's a decent finish. It's a decent finish for Manchester United. Uh, but unfortunately, they didn't win any bit of silverware, technically. All right, they didn't win the league. No cups. So, yeah. We're just going to have to look forward to the big numbers, hopefully, that we're going to see uh, with them. Uh, so let's go through the schedule. I'll have a quick glance. All right, so we've got some 5 nils there at the start of the season against West Brom. Liverpool, 3-1, great win. Uh, Head-to-heads with Fulham. 8-2 was Manchester United score the first time they played. Second time they played, it was 2 all draw. And coming down here to the bottom, you can see, look, another 6-0. Crystal Palace, Southampton, Newcastle, 6-0, 6-1. West Ham at the last game of the season, 8-2. Big score lines, guys. Squad best player was Fernandez with 14 goals, 20 assists, 100 chances created, but that's obviously helped along by the fact he probably takes all of the set pieces. Uh, and then a couple of players, actually. I was expecting more on the average rating, so it's not the best I've seen for Manchester United. But regardless, still pretty good. All right. Uh, biggest goal scorers, quite a lot of goal scorers, actually. So you've got Martial, uh, Cavani, Greenwood, Rashford, Fernandez, all getting double digits with the two highest being Martial and Cavani, 39 and 27. And the biggest creators after Fernandez was Rashford and Wambasaka, McTominay, Greenwood and Martial all getting double digits as well. Uh, so fantastic there, team report. Let's have a look at the general performance uh, with the Premier League averages. Pretty dominating. Pretty dominating, all right. So he's still conceding just over one goal per game. I've seen better, but that is still very good. And according to the averages, it's smashed out of the park. Uh, shots per game and goals are very high as well. Pass completion, pretty low um, in the league averages, 81%. So that might be something to have a look at. Maybe slow the tempo down a little bit. That can help massively. Uh, so let's go to the analyst report then. Scoring, aggressive and clinical. And then conceding here, we are quiet and impenetrable. The full numbers is 157 goals scored, 67 conceded. A little bit of a double-edged double sword. Manchester United, 67 is quite a lot. Um, in the league, though, it was 115 scored, which was the best, and 43 goals conceded, which was the uh, third best. So it looks bad, but it actually isn't. All right, so yeah, nice one. Nice one, Manchester United. Let's go to Fulham. 
The underdogs finishing in a European qualification place of sixth place. Nice one. We've seen the top threes. Let's have a look at their competitions then. FA Cup, Carabao Cup got knocked out both by Leeds and Man City, unfortunately. Squad, uh, schedule, sorry. Let's have a look then. Obviously, it's not going to be like Manchester United, but maybe we would, have, would have nicked some big results against some big teams. So let's have a look. Uh, Tottenham, 3-0. Decent result there. Man City lost against them. Chelsea, 3-1. Nice. Nice. Uh, lost against Arsenal. Leeds, Liverpool, 2 all draw. Good result. Wolves, 2-1. Uh, coming to the end of the season now. Leicester, 6-1. Great result there. Man City lost again. Uh, beat Chelsea again, though, 2-0. So, once again... Some decent results for Fulham, the underdogs. Squad, there we go, see? That's quite. That's actually quite a lot of players for an underdog um, for the average rating. So that's more what I'm looking for When if you've seen my other tests. The underdogs seem to only get like four four players getting in the green. Um, best player was Cavalero, though. Uh, 7.17, seven goals and 12 assists. Biggest goal scorers, Mitrovic and Reid. All right, 25 and 23. Biggest creators, uh, Cavalero, and that's it. He's the only one that got double digits with 12. Uh, after him, obviously, you can see on the table, Mitrovic, uh, Lookman, uh, Tete. All right, so, okie dokie. Uh, team report, on a whole, and the averages were actually pretty good, all right, considering who you are, all right? You're still doing well on goals per game, shots per game. Just under the higher ends of the averages when it comes to conceding. So that's not too bad, is it? And then if we go to analyst report, scoring over here, look, aggressive and clinical. And then conceding, we are unfortunately busy and leaky. Not great, but sometimes it's understandable that you just need to improve the team a little bit. Full stats, 81 goals, 69 goals conceded. Um, Not too bad. Not too bad, right? 69 ain't too bad for who you are. 81, it would have been nice to score more, but you also got to think, I'm Fulham. In the Premier League, it's a tough division. So, yeah, not too bad. In the league, it was 72 scored, which was actually the fifth best, and then 64 conceded, which was the seventh worst. Um, so, yeah, let's go to uh, France then. PSG and RC Lens, how have they done? You know PSG are going to win. Yeah, of course they have. It's PSG. All right, they won with 140 goal difference. That's some big goals there. Going to be a lot of goals. 109 points. RC Lens, the underdogs once again qualifying for Europe with fourth place. And unfortunately, there were only four points. Four points behind third. And if they had those four points, they would have come third and qualified for the Champions League because they had a bigger goal difference than Lyon. So... At the end of the day, well done, RC Lens. Let's have a look at the top three players. Icardi, Mbappe, and Gennago. All right, 51 league goals for Icardi, 30 for Mbappe. And Mbappe actually played all out on that uh, right-hand side. He was the winger right. I think he only had 10 games as a striker, which is up to the assistant. It would have scored a lot more if he was a striker. Probably would have shown a lot more stats for the team. Um, but 30 goals on that right-hand side, not too bad. Um, then Gonago obviously 30. And then average ratings, you've got Neymar, Icardi, and Demaria. First, second, third. Assists, Neymar, Demaria, and Mbappe. 21, 16, and 16. And then player of the matches, joint first and third. You've got Icardi and Demaria with Navas getting all the clean sheets with 18 coming first there. Competitions then for PSG. Ooh, European Champions Cup runner. Oh, they unfortunately lost out, but they did win the French Cup and the Trophies des Champions, so they did end up still getting the treble, which is always nice. I'm not going to show you the Champions Cup because uh, that might spoil it for a little bit later. Um, so <laughs> let's have a look at the schedule, then some big boy results. So head-to-heads versus RC Lens, let's have a look. They actually played manual one. Uh, first time they played, it was actually RC Lens that won. 6-4. 6-4. That was their only loss of the season, and it came to the other team using the same tactic. Second time they played, it was a 2-1 win to uh, PSG. So as you can see, the other results, so 6-0, 4-0, 7-4 against Juventus, 7-4. What a game. 5-0s, uh, 5-1s, a lot of a lot of goals, a lot of big score lines. Uh, so squad them, a lot of players there. That's what I'm looking for on the average ratings for the big teams. Uh, best player was Neymar with 41 goals, 25 assists. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and then the biggest goal scorers, you got Cardi, 77. Neymar, 41. Mbappe, 37. Keane, 24. A lot of goals there, guys. A lot of goals. Uh, biggest creators in the team, Mbappe, Neymar, Demario, Cardi, Florenzi, Keane, Bernat, uh, Herrera, all getting double digits with the two biggest ones being Mbappe and Neymar pretty much playing on the left and right. 
So pretty awesome there. Uh, team report on a whole, it's going to be absolute mayhem, mayhem maker. <laughs> Um, over four goals per game, three goals expected, under one conceded, over 21 shots on the averages. My lord, that's very attacking. That is elite level standards when it comes to using them with the big teams. And that's exactly what I love to see on these tactic tests. Um, analyst report then, scoring, aggressive and clinical. Where else would PSG be? And then concede, and if we go down here, two, quiet and impenetrable. The full numbers then, in all competitions, was 231. 231 is officially the highest number I have seen on all of my tests. All right, for, for the amount of goals a team has scored, 231 is now the one to beat. All right, so we've had the individual amount of goals scored was 89. That was immense. And then now we have PSG having the best overall team goals I have seen in all my tests. Uh, so fantastic with 231 and only 49 conceded. And then if we go to the league, it was 168 scored in the league with 28 conceded. Both of them obviously being the best. 231. Yeah. Uh, RC Lens then, the underdogs coming forth, qualified for Europe. Absolutely fantastic for them. We've seen the players in the top threes. How did they do in the competitions? They wouldn't have won it because PSG did. Uh, but they got to the well, 11th round, got knocked out by Nice. Uh, but you got you got to focus on the league, aren't you, when you're RC Lens, definitely. Uh, schedule, then, some of the results. I'll just scroll down slowly so you can see them yourself. Look, Dijon, 8-1. Nice. PSG was mad, though. Uh, Lyon, 2-1. All right, so big, big results here. Marseille, 3-2. 5-1. 5-0 against FC Mets. Nice results for RC Lens. Squad, decent amount of players. Again, getting the uh, nice ratings. Best player being Kakuta. Uh, six goals and 11 assists. Biggest goal scorers. It was uh, Gnago and Jean. 35 and 30. And then biggest uh, creators. Mauricio and Kakuta with 19 and 11. Team report. Going to be good. Going to be good. Uh, general performance and the averages. Smashed it out of the park. When it comes to the goals per game. All right, conceded. You're above the averages. Shots, shots per game. We don't count. We don't count PSG when we look at the underdogs because regardless of how PSG did, we know they're going to be out of this world. So that is still very good. And But yeah, nice, 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 nice. Uh, analyst report then. Scoring, attacking efficiency, aggressive and clinical. And then conceding, we are quiet and leaky. Uh, full numbers is 110 goals by the underdogs. Not bad at all. 62 conceded in the league. It was 99 goals scored, which was the second best. Nice one. Uh, 56 conceded, which was the ninth best there. So now we're going to the Bundesliga. We're going to Germany with Dortmund and Union Berlin. How have they done? First and sixth. So Union Berlin, another underdog team finishing with European qualification. Fantastic. Dortmund obviously beaten. The likes of Bayern who came fifth. Bayern came fifth. Mad. Uh, top three players then. Haaland, 56 league goals. Rios, 27. And is that Tuchart? Tuchart? T-shirt? T-shirt? <laughs> average rating. Haaland and Hazard, 8.04 average rating for Haaland. Nice. Assists, Hazard and Haaland. Ugh. 17 and 15. Uh, player of the matches, Haaland and uh, T-shirt again. <laughs> 10 and 6. And then clean sheets. None of the goalkeepers. Their T-shirt. Oh, dear. Competitions then for Dortmund. Let's have a look. So they won the Champions Cup. That's why I didn't show you PSG's uh, score earlier. Because Dortmund won it. They beat PSG in the final 5-3. That's Incredible. All right, Dortmund are a great team, and it's always nice when they win the Champions Cup as well because there's such quality teams in that competition. And uh, to see Dortmund is probably weakish in terms of elite teams. So, yeah, nice one. Uh, DFB Pokal Cup runners up. They lost out um, to Bayern 3 2. And then German Super Cup, they won that, being Bayern on penalties. Nice schedule then. Let's have a look then. So, 6 1. Then we've got some 7 3s Freiburg. Hoffenheim, 7 2, 5 1. Olympiakos, 7 5, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4. A lot of goals, guys. A lot of goals. You can see them all yourself right there. Nice one, Dortmund. Uh, squad that's weird how well they've done and that is how many players got a decent average rating strange hmm 
strange. Something broken? We do not know. Best player was Haaland. All right, 84 goals. He nearly, nearly matched um, Mbappe for that 89. 84 is still, yeah, it's godlike. But it's not the best I've seen. Not officially. So, 84 goals, assists, 23. Uh, biggest goal scorers after Haaland, you got Rio Sancho, Bran and Hazard, 10, 10, 14 and 54. Uh, biggest creative team, team, Haaland, Hazard, Guerrero, Sancho, Bran, Rio and uh, Munier, uh, Munier. 14, 14, 15, uh, you get the gist now. There's a lot of assists going on, a lot of goals going on. It's absolutely wonderful. Team report on a whole. All right, so pass completion is pretty low again, so I think that we need to just slow it down, people. Slow it down. That might be a tweak to look for. Okay, just slow the tempo down so you might actually connect some of those passes. Uh, goals per game, 7.36. Conceded per game is above the averages. Shots per game, smashing it. Absolutely insane for uh, Dortmund. And then full numbers is... Oh, let's have a look at the scoring efficiencies first. Aggressive and clinical. And then conceding. We're actually quiet and leaky. A little bit of a double-edged double, double edged for uh, Dortmund on this uh, this test. Full numbers, 201, guys. We broke the 200 number again. It's not quite 231 by PSG, but 201 is still amazing. 75 goals conceded. And then let's have a look in the league. It was 128 scored, which was the best, and 46 conceded, which was the sixth best. And finally, Union Berlin. They were the underdogs in the Bundesliga, and we've seen the top threes. How did they do in the competitions? They got to the quarterfinals, got knocked out by Frankfurt. And then if we have a look at the schedule, so big teams, big teams. So Hoffenheim lost against them. Uh, Frankfurt, no. Bayern lost. Stuttgart, Stuttgart's an all right team, to be fair. 5-0. Um, so let's go carry on. Wolfsburg, 4-3. 4-3, yeah, 6-2. So again, some decent, decent, decent score lines, to be fair. Probably expected for the underdogs. Well, better than expected. End of the day, underdogs finish sixth. All right. Squad. Average ratings. Only five players this time. Obviously, one of them are on loan, so only four of your players got a decent on the green ratings. Uh, best player being, not going to count, Trimmel? Yeah, Trimmel. Okay, 35 apps, one goal, 13 assists. Biggest goal scorers. We've got a T-shirt. Iwaniyi. Tawo Iwaniyi. 20 and 7, and then 14, obviously, he's on loan, and Cruz, uh, 10, and then biggest creators in the team, Trimmel, T-shirt, <laughs> can't stop saying that, <laughs> uh, 13 and 11, team report on a whole, all right, a little bit worse off when it comes to conceding per game, but not the worst in the league, all right, but smashing it with goals per game, uh, shots per game, shots on target ratio, obviously, is out on there as well, so well done. Analyst report scoring, we are aggressive and clinical, and then conceding, as you can see here, busy and leaky. Unfortunately, the full numbers for uh, Union Berlin, 90 goals scored, 66 conceded. Nice one for the underdogs in the league. It was 81 goals scored, second best, and then 61 goals conceded, which unfortunately is the third worst. Um, so, yeah, and then the, the other teams in the lower leagues of uh, England, Swansea, they ended up finishing second, getting promoted with a couple of players in the top threes. You've got Hull in Scarbet League One uh, coming first, champions again with a couple of players in the top threes. And then Bradford City in League Two also got promoted, um, coming third with a couple of players in the top threes. So, guys, that is the Mayhem Maker 424. You can find it on FM Base, you can find it in the description, you can find it on the Discord. I am Tucker Jobs. Hopefully, you absolutely smash it out of the park with this tactic. If you love the tactic, if you love the videos, if you love the content and the channel, consider subscribing. Consider liking, commenting. And I'm sure I'll get back to you in due time. Enjoy your save. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.